In this presentation, we will record rental income adding a new service item in order to do so within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows, go into the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We are going to add another invoice or in this case a sales receipt for rental income. So we have rental income throughout the period. The rental income is going to be related to us renting music equipment. We are a store that has uh, sells guitars and has music equipment and music lessons. And so this is going to be another type of service income that we will have in order to do so in order to set this up we are going to need to add an inventory item or a service item rather than an inventory item we could do that a few different ways one we could go to the lists up top and we can go to items and then we can add the new service item by selecting the items down here and going to new item but we can also do that as we set up the sales receipt so we're going to set up a new sales receipt. This is the first month that we, we have had rental equipment and we're going to set up the sales receipt to record uh, the revenue for that rental equipment. So in order to do that, we're going to go up top and close this back out. And we're just going to enter a sales receipt. And that would mean that uh, we're recording the sales receipt and collecting at this point in time, at the point in time that we are recording the sales receipt. So we will enter this as opposed to an invoice, which would be us. Uh, billing the client and expecting to get paid at some point in the future so we're going to add a sales receipt and then we're going to say that the customer is music store stuff so if we select the drop down it's here or we can just type in music store stuff here's the customer we're going to say it will be a check we're going to have the date uh, 228 that's correct everything else is the same through here uh, we could have it a check number this is not our check number, it's the music store stuck paid us with this check number. And then we're going to have the item and this is going to be the new thing that we're going to enter here. What we're going to do then is we can select the drop down and add the item here or we can just type in here and what we have is rent uh, music equipment and tab. So we're going to say that we're renting music equipment tab. It's going to say we don't have that item set up. Do you want to set it, set it up? We're going to say yes. And, and notice it's misspelled, but that's okay. We could fix it over here. Uh, so it's going to be a service item as opposed to an inventory item. We're not selling goods or services. And uh, we're going to set up this item. Music store stuff. So there we're going to have it. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to highlight this whole thing uh, and right click and copy. And paste that here. So rent music equipment it's still misspelled so i'm going to add an i there and hopefully that picks up all the misspelling so equipment so then we're going to have and if it doesn't then obviously even if we we record this we can go to the items list later and adjust uh, the spelling as well so that you can always go back and fix the spelling if you need to at some point although you would want it on your sales receipt to be printed correctly so we're going to have it on the rate. It's going to be 4,500 that we're renting this equipment for. It's not going to be taxable because it's going to be uh, rental equipment and therefore not have merchandise, which is typically the way it is in the U.S. If you're subject to sales tax, it being subject to merchandise. Now, what we want to do here, normally it's this is a service item here, but because this is a substantial amount of our income, it, it may make sense for us to break out into another income instead of just putting it into the, the service up here we might want to say hey this is a substantial different service type of income than our other service type of incomes and therefore it's worth us tracking separately on the income statement and remember our, our debate here is always do we want to just keep this the income statement simple put it in the service items and then break out that information because we can by other reports those reports being breaking out the income by uh, by item so we could look at another report in other words to break out income by items or we can enter that information here and break it out on the income statement and so that's just a decision we need to make as we as we enter the data how much detail do we want on the income statement as opposed to uh, other other reports 
that could give us that detail. Do we want the income statement more simplified and then get the detail from other reports or do we want some more detail on the income statement so we can glance at that quickly and get that more detail for us here? We think this is significant enough of a different type of income source to break it out into a different revenue account. So we're going to say rent music. Let's see if I can spell it. <laughs> music equipment. So that's going to be what we're going to call it. Our income account. We're going to set it up. So this is going to set up a new account. So we're setting up a new item. As we set up a new item, we're setting up a new income account. So we're going to set it up. And this is going to be income is going to be the drop down. That makes sense because it, it, that's, it guessed right there. So the computer guessed the right account. And then it's going to be music store stuff. It's not going to have a subcategory. That would be another option if we wanted the detail to have subcategories of services. So we had uh, music lessons and we had the services of diagnostics and whatnot. And we had services now of rental equipment. And that's another option we could use to kind of group everything together on the income statement or show that detail on the income statement by using sub uh, sub accounts. But we're not going to do that here. And we don't need a description or notes. We're not going to deal with the tax information, uh, not required fields. So we're going to say save and close. And that's going to be what we need. So we're going to say OK. And there's our information. Not taxable. It's now populated as we think it would be or should be. And we're going to say that this is one. And so that's going to be our invoice. So 5% tax, not there because it's a service, not selling inventory. What is this going to do when we record it? What's the journal entry? What's the effect on the financial statements? It's going to be an increase to cash, but not the checking account, undeposited funds. And then it's going to be an increase to revenue in our new revenue account, which is the rental revenue. So we're going to say save and close. And then let's see if that is indeed what happens by going to the reports. Going to company and financial, taking a look first at the balance sheet. It's what I typically like doing. Going to the balance sheet here. We're going to change the dates up top. Customize report. Changing the dates from 010119 to 123119. The year of 2019 is what we will be working in and have been working in. We're going to say that it didn't affect the checking account. Instead, it went into undeposited funds, 4500 If we double click on that, we'll see the... 4500 here that indicates that we have this money and we should be going to the bank with it soon so that's a significant amount of money for us here so we should go to the bank with that probably soon and deposit it so we're going to close this back out the other side is going to be on the income statement or p l profit and loss to find out we're going to go to reports drop down we're going to go to company and financial and the profit and loss standard Changing the dates to the year we're working on, 010119 to 123119. We'll see that we have this new merchant, this new account in income for the service rent music equipment. There's the 4,500. So again, you can see how you're given, we're given a little bit more detail. And because it's a significant dollar amount, it would make sense for us possibly to break out here. And note that we could use. Uh, a service item and make it a sub account of the service items and it would look kind of like this see how income has just income and then we've got income here so if we wanted to to break out the service in a similar way have the service being the the parent account and then have the sub accounts uh, of the different types of, of service items within it that too could give us more detail in a similar way as this drop down for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.